What up, fam? Open episode 22 of 3 p.m. That's third party minifig. Boom! And yeah, I'm gonna take this off now. Damn, I need a shave. That's what happens when you wear a mask all day walking around. But in this episode, we're gonna look at Citizen Bricks Tiger Enthusiast. <laughs> now, who's a fan of Joe Exotic? Now, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little skeptic at first watching this series on Netflix. I'm still kind of watching it, but oh my gosh. I have no words from what I'm watching on this show. Let me know if you guys are watching this or even seen a single episode, let alone the first 10 minutes of the first episode. When I saw this on Citizen Brick, like, I had to get it. Because, look, it's... So Citizen Brick had three versions of these. One was only 100 made, one was only like 300 made, and then there's this one. I didn't even know these people existed, let alone the drama that they have between each other, let alone themselves, and the issues that they have with themselves and each other. And to the extent to how far they'll go to harm one another. I'm not going to get into the story. Like, it is a fairly new thing. And if you want to go catch a glimpse of what it is, go check it out. But let's look at the minifig. Citizen Brick has some really nice packaging. It's one of those where if you open it up, it's pretty much done for. It's not like a lot of the other third-party vendors where you can kind of put it back into an enclosed case. With Citizen Brick, when you open it, it's open and it's not, it's not. Which is, I guess, a good thing sometimes because here you can't really play that it's a brand new minifigure once you open it. I was talking to Ryan from m &R Productions and he has one of these too. He said he's going to keep his in a box. I was contemplating, but I kind of want to make this video, so let's open him up. So here is Citizen Brick's Tiger Enthusiast, or what many of us might know him as, Joe Exotic. <laughs> this minifigure in itself exhibits the exact characteristics of his appearance. Very flashy shirt with hair on his chest, blue jeans, and a pistol on his side. Which, he's actually holding a revolver, and you can see a holster on his right. Thigh. And the one thing about Citizen Brick that they have mastered is the pad printing. They pad print their minifigures just like Lego, and the quality of their pad printers is very, very good. Very close to actual Lego quality, as you can see here. Does come with this dual molded hairpiece with exotic on it. I mean, the mullet. <laughs> <laughs> this minifigure does come with a little tiger cub with tiger printed stripes and for a character who actually is very full of himself It's not really a character. It's a real person. He has exotic on his hat Well, that exuberates the exact existence of who he is right having exotic on his hat only amplifies his Egotistical mindset that he has for himself It's too representative of who he is as a person in real life And I'm very surprised that this person actually exists outside of the character of what Netflix projects him as <laughs> <laughs> but the situations that they have found themselves is astonishing. But this is the minifigure from Citizen Brick. He is printed on the front torso. He has the holster on his right leg. The right arm is fully printed. Back of his flashy shirt is the same thing. Left arm is printed as well. And we're back to the front. And his face is a good representation of Joe Exotic and the little kitty with tiger stripes, which is supposed to be a tiger cub. And that's about it. Let me know what you guys think about this minifigure. Do you guys watch the show? Do you guys even care? I don't even know why I watch the show on Netflix and why I continue to watch the show. I'm just astonished on how stupid <laughs> this whole thing is. All right, guys, if you guys made it with me to the end of this video, give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, like, comment, subscribe below, and I'll see you on the next 3 p.m. video. All right, guys, peace.